Hey there boys and girls, Lex Gilfleck here and as promised um, this will be the last um, part or series or episode of the little comparison series um, with the JNG90, the new bolt action sniper rifle from the close quarters DLC. Um, by now I've already compared it to the L96, the M98B and the M40A5. So this means in this episode we are going to compare the JNG90 and the SV98. So, um, as always, we can see it, um, we're sniping from the US deployment to the other side, to the buildings on the Gulf of Oman. Distance roughly 1200 meters, just as always. Um, um, the JNG hasn't changed, <laughs> um, still right underneath the fourth point line notch, however you want to call it. And yeah, you've probably seen all the other comparison videos and um, I've basically said everything about the JNG and just repeating myself. So. Pretty decent all-round rifle. Um, bullet drop is really good, 560 meters um, per second will be the velocity of the bullet. So the second highest velocity right after the M98B and a little bit higher than the one of the L96 which has 540 meters per second. So right here we have now the SV98 with a bullet velocity of 520 meters per second, so a little bit slower. And we also see that it drops a little bit more. It's a few inches um, underneath the fourth point, but not as much as the M40A5. So bullet drop device and also um, in terms of time they need to finish the way. Um, the M40, the L96, the JNG90 and the SV98 are roughly or probably about the same. So. Um, there is no big difference between them. The only real difference has the M98B because it has the extreme uh, velocity of 650 meters per second, which results in a extreme um, uh, in a extreme low bullet drop. So it's extremely accu accurate. Okay, um, so let's hop on to our next test, which will be the reloading test. So, and we'll start out with the JNG90 again. And let's get started. So right here you can see the time to clear the whole magazine and right underneath the time to rechamber. So time to rechamber is about 1.3 seconds mostly. And it's not the most accurate way to do or to measure the, f the stats and data. Because of that I have later on a graphic for you from simfic.com. They have the game data files and stuff. So then they s um, the ones they have, they they are a hundred percent accurate. So um, the JNG needed 15 seconds to uh, clear the whole magazine. The SV98 um, has a rechamber time of 1.25 seconds, and for the whole clearing time, um, also about 14 something or so. So um, it's faster than the JNG90, but it has a little bit more bullet drop. So now for our little graphic um, sniper rifle comparison, SV98 versus JNG90. And we'll start out with the SV98, so the damage will be 80 to 50 and not 59 like with all the other rifles. Um, the reason for this is the damage drop-off start, which will be after 20 meters. So you will have a one-hit kill possibility to the upper chest within 20 meters than within 50 meters. But to balance it, they made it so that the drop-off um, goes down to 50 and is also um, stopped already after 80. So um, for the velocity, 520 meters per second. Um, the reload is quite fast with one bullet left, 2.4, I guess it's the fastest with one bullet left. Um, reload, 4.8 with no bullet left, a little bit slower than the JNG90. Like I've said, the rechamber time will be 1.25 seconds and the suppression is always 35%. The magazine size bow, uh, both rifles have a 10 size magazine plus one in the chamber, so 10 plus one. Um, the damage of the JNG90 has a little bit uh, mini higher minimum damage, so 59. Um, the drop off will start a little bit earlier at 15 meters, but um, it stays longer, so uh, first after around 100 meters the damage uh, has its complete drop off to 59. The velocity is um, 560 meters per second, so the second highest velocity of all the rifles, which r results in a little bit uh, less um, bullet drop. Um, for the reload, 2.9 with one bullet left, which is quite high. And the reload with no bullet left is 4.7. That's 
pretty good, I guess. Um, reach chamber time 1.3 seconds, suppression 35%, and the magazine size just the same um, like the SV98. And yeah, that's basically all for the last episode of this little comparison. Stay tuned for the whole comparison where you can see all five rifles compared. And yeah, that's basically all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's go figure out.